Welcome, I'm Catherine. Today I'll be sharing four more albums from the late 80s, 1988 and 1989. So I will begin with Madonna's Like a Prayer album. This is her fourth studio album and it was released March 21st of 1989 on Sire Records. And I'll show you the CD because this is one I also got at the Goodwill. See the initials there? So this album was produced by Madonna, Patrick Leonard, and Stephen Bray. And Madonna was 30 years old in 1989, so she wanted to market her album to a more mature audience rather than just teenagers. So these songs are much more personal. She writes about her relationship with her father her Catholic upbringing, and also touches on the death of her mother. So the singles on this album, number one is Like a Prayer. It's the opening track, and it went to number one, and it's her seventh number one song. Number two, Express Yourself. This went to number two. Number three is Cherish. I really like this song. It went to number two. Oh Father reached number 20. Number five is Keep It Together. It went to number eight. And there's another song. This one was released in the UK. It's Dear Jesse, And it reached number five on the UK charts. This album also had international success. It reached the top of the charts in 20 countries. So in the United States, it went four times platinum and another 7 million international. And there's another song I want to bring out on this album that I really like. It's um, for Promise to Try. This is the song she wrote about her mother. I mean, it's just almost brought me to tears the first time I heard it. And her mother died at the age of 30, so because Madonna had her birthday at the age 30, these feelings came back to her when she um, was making this album. So overall, I think it's a good album. I have the three albums that I've shown by Madonna and these are my three favorite. The second album is Tom Petty, Full Moon Fever. This is his debut uh, solo studio album and it was released April 24th of 1989 on MCA Records. So the musicians on this album we have Mike Campbell. Jeff Lynn plays guitar and he's the producer of this album. And Phil Dro Jones is the drummer and percussionist. So the singles on here, I Won't Back Down is the first one. And I really like this song. Whenever, I, whenever I'm under pressure, I like to sing this song in my head. Number two, Running Down a Dream. This is a tribute to Del Shannon and Free Falling. Number four is A Face in the Crowd. And number five is You're So Bad. This is another song I really like. It's very catchy. And those are the five singles. So the track six is a whole lot better. This is a cover song written by Gene Clark of The, the Birds. And there's an intermission after this song and it goes, Hello CD listeners. We've come to the point in this album where those listening on cassette or records will have to stand up or sit down and turn over the record or tape. And that's why I like owning this CD because of that. I've thought about getting a vinyl copy, but I think I'll just settle with this um, CD because it has that unique intermission. And overall, this album is one of my favorites. I listen to it often. So album number three, Garth Brooks' debut came out in 1989. So this was released on April 12th of 1989, and it's on Capitol Nashville. And this was a very successful album. It peaked at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100, so it was a crossover hit album. Number two on the Top Country Album Charts. 
and it was certified diamond by the RIAA. It sold over 10 million copies in the United States. So there's four singles on here, and three of them became standards. Number one is Much Too Young to Feel This Damn Old. It was released March 6th of 1989. The songwriters are Randy Taylor and Garth Brooks, and it went to number eight on the country charts. There's also a, a lyric in this song. It's a worn out tape by Chris Ledoux, and this helped the career of Chris. Number two is If Tomorrow Never Comes. This was released August of 1989. The songwriter is Kent Blaisley, and it reached number one. Number three, Not Counting on You, was released January 8th of 1980, and this is the song that Garth Brooks wrote himself. And number four, The Dance. This was written by Tony Areta, released on April of 1990, and this is my favorite song on the album. And overall, I think this is a good album. I learned that you can't really stream his music very well. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, but a few YouTubers have uploaded this album and No Fences onto YouTube. And then I went on Spotify to look up his albums and he doesn't have his discography on there. There's a Greatest Hits playlist, but I didn't really take the time to look why. I don't know if it's because he's retired or sold his copyright, but I guess it's good to have some Garth Brooks in my collection because I can't stream it. The fourth and final CD I'll show today is Edie Brickell and New Bohemians. This is the debut album called Shooting Rubber Bands at the Stars and it was released August 9th of 1988, and it's on Geffen Records. And Edie drew this artwork. There's the front, and there's a little bit on the back there. And when I open this CD, I think this is really cute. She must like cats, because you can see the little, there's four cats in the corners there. So the Bohemians, or the New Bohemians, they're an American alternative rock group, and they're from Dallas, Texas, and their music is described as alternative rock and folk rock. And there are 12 tracks on here, and Edie Brickell is the main songwriter with some co-writing credits from the band members. So there's three singles. The first one is very well known. It's called What I Am. It's the lead single released, and it went to number seven on the Billboard Hot 100. Number two is Circle. I really like this song. It's a so song about broken relationships. It charted number 48 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 32 on the Billboard Rock chart. And I think it has a beautiful melody, too. Number three is called Little Miss S. It reached number three on the mainstream rock charts and number 14 on the modern rock charts. And I do remember hearing all three of these singles on the radio when I was a teenager. So there's one more song on here that I really like. It's track four called The Wheel. I like the percussion in this song. It really stands out and it has a good bass line. And it's just a catchy tune. Overall, I think I enjoy the first maybe half of this album. But towards the end, I think the songs are a little bit weaker and get a little noisy too. But I mean, for me and my memories of the 1980s, I remember this album well. So those are the four CDs I'm sharing today. Please um, share your memories and what you think of these albums. And I'm going to say this is the last of my series of the 80s records in my collection. I believe I've shown just about everything I have almost between my favorite artist playlist and this 80s playlist. So what am I going to do for future videos? Well, in September, I ordered two new albums online and then a couple days later someone in the vinyl community sent me a box of 45s 
And then at the end of Feb uh, September, on September 30th, a lady that I met who wanted to give me her records um, came to my work after I got off work and put three boxes of vinyl into my car. So, I mean, this is really amazing. So, I have a lot of new things to share with you. Out of that um, collection that was given to me, I've been busy cleaning those. And I'll probably just show the ones I'm going to keep. And there's quite a few I'm going to keep, so I'll have plenty of content to share with you. So I wanted to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. It's always good to hear from you in the comments. And I'll see you in future videos. Take care.